All right, made it over here to the show. Got parked out here in the alfalfa field. And the show is just like right over there in front of these campers, like right that way. So we're right up here. Have to go up there tomorrow, see if we can get a golf cart. And uh, hopefully we will. All right, this is a Salford 2200. We got a 1231. So I was looking to see at uh, just looking how good I did putting ours together around the hoses and everything doesn't look much different from what I did um, the only complaint so far is I don't know if I showed you guys or not but the other day I was running ours ours has like 300 acres on it maybe and this entire piece is tweaked on ours so this is an even heavier machine, basically the same size, and it's not even a heavier, not even a heavier tandem out here on the axle. So I'd like to see how long this one lasts on here um, versus our lighter machine that is already bent. So this one's got shanks on it, hydraulic shanks. I guess that's why it's a 2200. And then the, sh the springs are just extremely bigger than what our 22-inch row spacings, be sure to check out the 9200 series corn heads. Stop by the New Holland booth to learn... Compared to a traditional left side auger grain cart, putting the auger on the right side makes it much easier to watch the grain cart unload, to use the tractor controls and track monitors at the same time. This reduces the risk for mistakes, especially during stressful moments, and greatly diminishes the amount of twisting and turning while operating the grain cart. JNM, your leader in the field since 1960. CB Fast Track 8330 tractor. With over 25 years of product innovation, the JCB Fast Track 8330 is one of the most versatile agricultural tractors on the market today. 
equipped with 330 brake horsepower. The Massey Ferguson 8S series tractor. Ushering in a new era of straightforward and dependable equipment, the Massey Ferguson 8S series provides an enhanced operator experience while combining the legacy of Massey Ferguson with the style of tomorrow, especially with wider heads. JNL, your leader in the field since 1960. So they're supposed to be doing tillage at 2 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock right now. So we'll go look at the show a little bit. And then uh, we'll go out back out to the field where they were trying to mine that. They're going to run some tillage on it. Alright, back to the show now. Till bars. This is my favorite so far that I've found. Um, seems like the simplest, um, most durable design. So go look at it a little bit. Grain cart, seed tenders, not anything you could think of. Usually it's so dang crowded at all the shows I can't even ever look at these. Get up on top of them a lot. But here we are, got up here on top. Cody's opening her up. See about everything from up here. Grain carts everywhere. Ruben 10 high speed disc. The Ruben 10 high speed disc features 20 smooth, level, firm finish. Equipped with hydraulic depth and leveling adjustments to provide quick and easy setup. Ruben 10 provides working depths up to 6 inches and has available working widths up to 32 feet. Lincoln offers a full range of high speed discs for any crop and any application. Go see them for more information at booth 115 the unit to be run at shallower depths. Disc gangs are protected by C-flex hangers to provide protection against rocks. Trunnion bearings with triple lip seals are also covered by Landau's three-year limited warranty. One million square feet of production facilities and multiple product lines. All right, coming straight over to check out the strip till bars. So here's the rafter. Here's the Orthman. We just went and looked at both of these, and then there's the new John Deere. So we're gonna go check it out. But we just checked, we just looked at these here just a minute ago. Basically the same thing we looked at. And then everybody comes out here and runs over it. So pretty wide, pretty wide footprint here. All right, let's go with the next one. All right, so we looked between the Worthman and the and the Raptor over there, the Humber first, and we're looking at the deer, and the deer is like not 
doesn't it doesn't make nearly as wide of a strip it's kind of a less disturbance but I haven't got it close to it yet so we're gonna go see what it, what it looks like it seems like it's doing an okay job but it ain't moving the trash out of the way quite as much but keep in mind that we would be using only on on our soybean stubble not not corn stalks there'd be a lot less residue out there we'll go take a up close look at it okay so this is a no shank that's kind of what i figured was going on here so there's no shank it's got a row cleaner up front like you would have on a planter and then it goes to it looks like a, a disc there and then you got like three different discs in the middle there doing the job of the shank so you're not really placing the fertilizer as deep as is uh, nearly as deep as we would with a shank but it is a good good thing to see see what the uh, disc machine does there's that big whatever you want to call it I don't really know what that's supposed to be called big combine deal next step next step up next code I don't know Checking out the new Mac Don Draper. Check out the Mac Don corn heads. I've never really looked up close at these. Past the John Deere booth. Cody said we need to get in the new nine RX. No, it's way too aired up, dude. We need to be on the floor. Hmm. Uh, you gotta turn the key. Yeah, my keys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they get the new GS5 display. I look but, good uh, in here. Mm. Hey, they finally started tinting the back windows. I think they should tint every window. They should do that on every one of them. That's awesome. Keep the sun off here a little bit more. Six forty. Six hundred and forty horse. Yeah. Alright, we got day one complete. Uh we got through the whole show, like just drove through to finish up. And uh so we'll go back tomorrow and kinda of stop in some places. See if we end up with a golf cart or not. Um but anyways we got a few places we wanna stop at, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Alright, we're back at the show this morning. Been riding around a little bit, checking out these aluminum corn heads. Uh, we just kind of got a few places we want to go hit. 
here um, today. So we want to stop in and talk or uh, look around a little bit closer. So that's what we're doing today. All right, we're back out here in the field now. We watched watched the G, the GTS Cornhead run again. Got some drones, some spray drones flying out here. We stopped here to watch that. These are some big ones too. He's gonna land it right there on that trailer. Pivot by how it moves. It's like more of a building than a booth. It does feel good in here though. I'm gonna get in this 1050 Vario because I wanna see what it's like on the inside. It's really like a house in here, dude. It's pretty nice in here. Everything's like color coded. It really is crazy. Look at all. It's like a whole dial over here. Uh, got a phone holder built in. Got two screens built in. And then look, there's this one. Another screen up here. It's, uh, this is your little. Look that, how big you're throwing. Wonder what that is. You don't. You don't use it because it's a. It's a probably a CVT. What? I don't know how you'd ever figure out how to drive it. But. Go. I guess once you figure it out, it'd probably be nice. I'd say there's a lot of buttons you don't use. You'd sit up really high in here. Since there's no one around, I figured I'd hop in the AR for fun. This one's got the, it's got the, a e, the E23 in it. got the new the new display in it the new GS5 and they got the seat raised up so high I can't reach the ground but <laughs> I'd like to turn this on and try it the new display but it looks pretty pretty standard what it should be do you think they should have tinted windows on here yeah they should they started tinting the windows on some of them if you look like at that one over like there. that one over there it's tinted back window But it looks good. All right, everyone. That's going to finish it up for the farm show. Getting everything loaded up. Getting ready to head home. All right, well, we made it back home, so we are all good. So we're going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, between the two farm shows. Hope it was something different, changed it up a little bit. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.